Hi and welcome to All Fired Up. So today what we're going to be doing... So today what we're going to be doing is a pair of greaves. This is the back, this is the front. And they should magically fit. So we've got the greave drawn on. The next thing is to cut it out on the hammer. Important area to work on is this part here, on either side. So what we need to do here is round it. So we should be able to hammer the side down to about halfway on the ball stake, and then hammer the side down all the way. That should give us like a, a cylindrical tube. And then we can compress this area some more. Let's see how it goes. So this section here is pretty good. This section here needs to be shrunk. That needs to be bent around same with that side but as we flare that they'll tuck that in so the next thing we're going to work on is just this little channel here just rolling it around a little bit more so I'm just using a square headed face hammer and I'm just working on that side of the ball stick. Just compressing it in. So you're listening out for the different hammer blows. So now we're at more of a tink. So uh, that's what we're after. And before we were getting a... So we're after a... So... Tink. So this is called a retard blow. So we're retarding, which is sh shrinking the steel from this side here and pushing it this way, pushing it into itself. So we'll end up with a thicker piece of steel than through here, in theory. So I'm just going to work my way back up, just raising that all, um, and just taking all the dents out while I'm there. So I'm just going to raise the section just a little bit through here as well. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is working on that curve in through there. So looking at our pattern, boulders quite a bit up here, goes tapers down and comes back out. So this is for two reasons. One is he's got quite a bit of padding up here. And he's got quite a bit down here. But the other one is his shin actually does this curve. So we need to match that curve with our piece of steel. So what we're going to be doing is a retardation. No, we're not. What we're going to be doing is shrinking this section here. So working from both sides, bringing it into the center. It's also going to make this part here stronger. Uh, how's it going to make it stronger? It's going to have more material. So we're going to take that material from everywhere and bring it in.
right, so what we have to do now is just take out some of those dents, come up to the line, so we need to bring that up to there, and a nice scallop, and just take out the dents. So I'm probably going to have to heat that up and shrink that some more. Alright, let's see, match it up with its other half and uh, see what we're up to. Also, we've got it mostly fitting. Need to do a little bit more dishing just in there to make that a little bit more um, pop. We've got to bring that piece to match that. And that piece to match that. So we've come to the end of the day. Uh, so a few more things we need to do. One is give it a both sides a plenish. We need to do the dishing on the anklets. Uh, we need to get it matching in a few more places. Just in through here. So I need to just dish that, make that smooth. Once we've got it plenished, then next week we'll be doing the hinges and strapping and polishing. So this is that we've got. We've got both of them reasonably safe. Uh, we'll also, once we've got the plenishing done, we'll go to the client and we'll put them on the client and get the size exactly. That will help when we put the hinges on. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And all that jazz.